Welcome to Brennan University. In this episode, we'll cover the characteristics, applications, and advantages of flange fittings. Flange connections are typically used in applications that will encounter exceptionally high pressures when using pipe or tubing with OD over 7 8 inches. They may be bolted together to mate two sections of pipe, tube, or hose, or bolted or screwed into the component to secure a flange fitting or section of pipe. Flanges can also be disassembled for easy access to modify the system, clean, or inspect it. Certain flanges may also be permanently welded together or to the port section of the component like a motor housing or a valve port. Typically, a flange joint is made by bolting two flanges together with a gasket in between to ensure a secure seal. There are a couple notable disadvantages of using flange fittings. First, the relevant temperature rating is limited by the O-ring seal material making these fittings ineffective in high temperature applications. Second, the weight of the flanges and the flange fittings can be problematic in systems where weight reduction is important. However, there are many advantages to flanges and flange fittings. They are readily available and offer a large variety of sizes, shapes, combinations, and materials. They're typically used in applications that will encounter exceptionally high pressures. Flanges sometimes provide benefits to the piping system that traditional hydraulic fittings do not. In large OD applications, flanges are often able to be connected to pipe, tube, or hose, and component ports more easily than threaded fittings or adapters. Flanged connections can be best for ease of assembly in tight spaces where wrenches might not have the clearance if installing traditional fittings, and they are more easily assembled with moderate torque. They are great in hard to reach areas where flexibility is required, eliminating the need for adapters in the tube, pipe, or hose line. They perform in large hose, tube, or pipe connections where shock, vibration, high pressure, and or pressure surges are present, which could more easily damage a traditional large hydraulic fitting. They are perfect for making connections that allow for easy maintenance in rigid lines such as continuous pipes or metal tubes, and they also reduce the chance of components becoming loose in rigorous hydraulic applications. There are two primary types of flanges. SAE Code 61 flanges are used for applications requiring working pressure of 3,000 to 5,000 PSI. SAE Code 62 flanges are used for applications requiring working pressure up to 6,000 PSI. The hydraulic flange standard is ISO 6162, which includes SAE Code 61 and 62, or SAE J518 UNC thread North American standard, along with international standards with metric threads. It is important to note that the two flange style codes, 61 and 62, are not interchangeable due to their pressure ranges and their different bolt patterns. There is also another style that must be accounted for and not interchanged with SAE flanges. This other four bolt flange often found in the field is called Caterpillar flange. This style is almost an exact match to the SAE Code 62 four bolt flange. There is variance in thickness on the flange heads and for this reason these connections should not be interchanged. Although many SAE 4-bolt hydraulic flanges might look alike or that different flanges and fittings might appear to be compatible, that is usually not the case. SAE Code 61, SAE Code 62, and Caterpillar 4-bolt flanges have dimensional variations and slight differences in configuration, plus the differences in allowable working pressure do not allow them to be used together or interchanged and care needs to be taken to properly identify the right connection to create a safe and leak-resistant seal. 